welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today i am going to explain about automotive stamping bracket so this is the bracket uh, component and right side you can see the form tool so i'm going to show you how to create this form tool and how to place this form tool on the sheet metal to achieve this bracket so this is the component i'm going to create this is the form tool so i am going to create this component so let's start now i am in this sketcher mode so i have selected a right plane and created this sketch now select this sketch go to extruded boss take it as 80 and a mid plane now select the top face go to sketch keep it normal and keep it in wide frame take one circle this circle is 50 mm so this is a reference circle so i am making it construction now take one center point arc place it outside because it is easy for us to constrain select these two end points make it horizontal now select this two circle and arc make it coradial now take center line place it here keep this at, at an inclination and this as vertical now this angle is 150 151 this is 158 this is 66 select this point and make it tangent go to mirror it it is select these lines and mirror it dimension these two lines this is 35.8 so it is constrained now now select this edge 
convert entity go to trim option select corner trim select these two lines and this loop closes see here now go to feature cut extrude here we have to make through all and this flip side we have to select so outer material it removes see here so instead of inner material it takes out the outer material now select this face go to sketch keep it normal take one circle so this is around 32 mm see here now go to feature select extruded boss and height is 10 mm now select this face go to sketch keep it normal so for better visibility keep it in wide frame create two circles this is 20 and this is a uh, 55 take one center line and join this midpoint and this center of the circle so it is vertical constraint now give this dimension to the outer diameter this is 15 this is 18 so this is not constrained select this center point and this point and make it vertical so it is constrained now go to feature select extruded boss and this is 10 mm say okay so keep it in shaded form see here this is done now we have to give fillets this edge and this edge of 10 mm select right plane go to sketch keep it normal and keep it in wireframe here select this edge keep offset this is 6 mm six so go to feature
and keep it in mid mid plane this is a 6 mm so we have to create this circular feature so select this face go to sketcher mode keep it in wireframe here take three point arc select this edge and this point make it midpoint say ok so it is constrained go to extruded balls and we can take 6 mm sorry so here we have to close the loop go to sketch and convert entity and select extruded boss say ok keep it in isometric see this is created now now we have to give fillets So here I am giving 3 mm now go to fillet once again and select this and give 2 mm see fillet, usually this fillet should be more than the sheet thickness so sheet thickness and here i am taking as 2 mm so it's, it should be equivalent or more than 2 mm so this is a thumb rule so say ok So as per design requirement I need sharp edges I am keeping as it is. So now this tool is ready. Now we have to convert this into forming tool. Go to sheet metal, select forming tool. So in forming tool we need a flat surface for stopping face. So I am selecting this and faces to remove I am selecting this tool. This will be a forming tool face so tool is ready now so we have to save this file so here we have to save this in folder in forming tool folder so here we can right click and open this folder and we can save it so I mean new part file select the top plane and create this cage it is a 300 square sketch now select this cage go to base flange so this is 2 mm and k factor is 4 go to forming tool folder select this Say ok, you can place anywhere.
now select this face go to sketch keep it normal and keep it in wireframe go to convert entity select the outer edges say okay now keep it normal take one corner rectangle so create outside this sheet and go to sheet metal extruded cut see here keep it isometric select this face keep it in reverse direction select this and offset entity keep it in reverse direction and offset entity reverse direction now go to trim here the draw outer lines go to trim option corner trim go to sheet metal extruded cut see here we have to create fillets select these two points so sharp edges are not preferred so this component is ready now so this is how we create automobile stamping components in upcoming videos i am going to create few more similar components of uh, stamping components in sheet metal so this is brief about automotive stamping bracket thank you very much